Hello and welcome to my crib. It's like, welcome to my YouTube channel again. Today I'm going to be doing a first impression on this foundation. You may know it, Fenty. So I heard that it has matte finish. Give me this Makeup Forever foundation stick. It's in the color 118 with the Tatcha water cream and the Hangover RX by uh, Too Faced, the primer. My mom told me that my skin looked dewy. So, you know, that's like, that's the best uh, person to tell you that it works or whatever. So we're just gonna take a little bit of water cream and put it on all over the dome. Pretty dry right now. I'm gonna put on like a good amount. Yeah, I know this stuff is expensive, but wake me up. Hangover RX. Okay, I'm like strongly reconsidering this because I have some eyeshadow palettes to show and to put on and just do it. If I get eyeshadow under here, then it sucks to be me. I've seen reviews on this. People have said that it dries quickly, so you have to work in sections, which I don't really like, but you know, whatever. And this is color 230. No, it's 230, trust me. Let's just put a little bit. Just clean my beauty blender. Let's just dampen it a little bit. Okay, I had to get my mirror because how else am I going to see? I am all over the place with this video. It's like a filter, like it blurs your imperfections. Let me put that to the test. Like since my last actual makeup tutorial, I've gotten so much makeup. I started off drugstore and now I'm on my way to being legit. Not gonna lie. Okay. I'm going to not overdo it with foundation. That's all it's gonna be. So we are going to move on. So I got the Anastasia Contour Kit, the cream one. Let me just say when I went home and I opened it to show my mom and it was the powder one. I had to drive 40 minutes, like a few days later, to exchange it. So please, don't, don't do what I did. This palette is like already, and will not palette the, is it a palette? No, this cream kit is down to the pan. Like, I've already used so much of it. So I like to use this yellow color. Just get this airspun. And this little angled uh, blender under my eyes. I like to use this color. That did nothing because it's not powder. Okay. And I use this brush. It's double-ended. This I use clearly for bigger spots and the like highlighting. And then this carving the contour. So I like to do my nose. I'm done blending it out. So next is like kind of my favorite part. Um, this is the Brow Stylist Shape and Fill by L'Oreal. And there's that much left. There's nothing. So let's see. Well, someone's car alarm went off and this is the first time I've ever heard one around here. This has creased. I don't understand what is going on because my um under eyes you know never crease when I set them. Oh my god this is like really bad. I don't know why I did that. I might have to redo my under eyes because if, um, I'm not going to focus on that too much right now because if my eyeshadow falls out, then I'm going to take it off underneath my eyes and then redo it. Okay. 
these are just gonna be my eyebrows I think they're they're fine after I do my eyebrows I do my shadow so let's chit chat a little bit about the shadows I got over Christmas period first I got the Jaclyn Hill palette this is the packaging and this is the slage in the back and then a little note right here from her what the palette itself looks like it has the colors on the back and let's get to the real interesting part these are the colors they are insane like look how pretty those are check this out my money coming dirty bowls. i ain't a fireman but i be pulling holes i ain't a dope man don't but i be getting dope i ain't a jewelry man and my chain goes this palette i got was the Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette. That's the outside, it has the colors on the back. Actual palette itself. <laughs> Woo! Look at this, it is so pretty. And then that's just the back with the descriptions on it and it tells you that it is made with 100% cocoa powder and um, flecks of gold. So when you open it, these are the colors. So many shimmers and the mattes are beautiful. And then the mirror, like crazy. So this is just beautiful. Like it's just crazy. Instead of making like um nude look I'm going to do like a blue purple hue you know turquoise stuff like that just to really play with the colors my teachers would kill me if they heard me violet and blue this like kind of goldish color put it in the same spot towards the end this is flat brush this is where the choosings gets hard. I'm gonna take this purple. I'm gonna put it right up here in the crease, but a little bit lower. You see how pretty that is? Okay, so I put them on both sides. So now I'm gonna just blend this out. I'm gonna take this, hmm, this shade right here. It is a teal. Teal, I'm gonna put it in the center to the end. This is so bad underneath my eyes. I've never, I have never seen some stuff like this. The turquoise shimmer, I'm gonna put that in the inner corner, just right here. Like, what really sucks is. I have huge eyes and very little eyelids. Why though? Same turquoise and put it at the end. So if you thought I was done with the blue hues, you were wrong. Take this royal blue and I'm gonna put it on the end. And just bring it onto the purple a little bit. Almost coral gold. I'm going to put it on the very inside because my eyes are so wide I just want to bring them smaller to a, a more open end. So I'm going to put it right where the purple is and connect into like the tip of my nose. I really love the dripping diamonds but rich girl you already know. I like that color a little better for this look. I'm gonna take some rich girl, very inner corner, and get rolling in dough, the very big white cream as a highlight right under here. It is from Scone. It's called Insanely Intense Tattooed Waterproof Eyeliner. It is like a marker, really close in the front. And no, it doesn't normally come out this quick. This is a 2018 miracle. I'm 
This is so hard on camera. I ruined it. Okay, they're completely different, but <laughs> what can you do? Like, honestly, I'm not about to fix this underneath my eyes. I really, I'm just gonna try it again some other day and come back and I'll let you know because right now I just don't have the time or the patience to redo underneath my eyes. The royal blue. And put it underneath my eyes. Looks purple. Put it on the outer corner of the bottom of my eye. Underneath, you know. Underneath the eye. And then wipe it off. It even looks purple on freaking paper. So then I'm gonna take the real purple. I'm gonna put it in the front. Someone's knocking on my door. And guess who's not answering? Okay, this side is thicker than this side. Like, can I live? Why is someone knocking on my door? Eyeliner, Urban Decay and Perversion. Got it from my Ipsy bag. I'm just gonna do my waterline. It's Too Faced Lip Injection. Just the top lip. Highlighter. Color. So I'm gonna use my brush that I got in I believe last month's Ipsy bag and they had said it was pronounced SL Miss Glam. I was really off last time. Mm -hmm. This is Clinique Moisture Surge Face Spray. Hopefully this makes this matte foundation appear more dewy. Uh, Wet n Wild Nano 2C Bare It All, my favorite. I finally got a new mascara. This is uh, Voluminous Lash Paradise. And I got it because I saw a really good review on here. I know I'm not supposed to pump the wand. Hmm. That's everything. Here's the completed look. Pretty good. Look at the mess, girl. Look at the mess. Okay. Should I do a check in? I don't know. I think I'm going to do a check in. But. Thank you for watching my video and hope you like, comment, subscribe, whatever. And I'll see you in my next one. Hi guys, so this is my check-in. And this is what the foundation looks like. My mom told me that it wasn't my match, but I don't know. And then she even took some photos of me uh, with her portrait mode, and it looked good. I might need um, a lighter color, because I think it oxidized some. In the car, it looked good. That's my thoughts on the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. Um... So yeah, I'm just gonna have to give it a few more days. We will see if it is the one, but I like it. And um, it didn't dry out on my skin. I didn't get any um, dry patches, uh, flaky skin, things like that. This underneath my eyes, I do not know what happened. Um, I didn't bother to fix it, whatever. I already filmed my outro. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, guys.